how to make axle press harder. Two bands. The brothers return. That's it. You thought we weren't training together again. So today is events day. Standard Friday. Oh God. I can't say anything about Tom into that. Jesus. Well, let me do the intro because I'm usually doing events and it's like it's nice to have Luke joining us. Let me do the event. Right, guys, so I'm back here doing events. Wait a minute, guys. Wait a minute. Friday, right, I'm NRL, back here. Tom's back. I'm here. We it's are fine. finally joined by the man, the myth, the mystical creature himself. Luke has finally joined us three weeks into events, so it's nice to be The only here. reason Tom wants me here is because Dan's not here. He said, oh, please come Where back. Else? Please, I turned up Mr. Minagi's not back. Myself, but now Luke's joined me, so yeah, I won't really point him joining. He's not doing anything, so it's cool. I've, I've regretted that ever since I've stepped in. All I've done is work. Luke, sandbags all nice. I've written the weights on them. Got a new weights tree, sorting that out. And all Tom's doing is cleaning up his weights from last week. Oh, God, some things never change, guys. <laughs> Come on, Tom. I've got this bit. <laughs> Right guys, so we are back today. We are starting with this axle press. We are obviously we're doing 140 for seven to eight reps. So like I said, my biggest goal next year is to use every single second I've got of time. So I'm doing one set for Britain's shoulders, my one set for Arnold's. The first set for Britain's will be, I'll be doing a rep every two breaths. So I'll be taking it down, breath, breath, rep, breath, breath, rep. The second set will be 160 for four to five reps, Arnold's, which will be about 10, 11 breaths. So you can get used to both things. So. Yeah. I've got a question for you. What happens if you've done enough reps in 40 seconds to win? I stop. But right now I'm trying to get used to it because, loads of, like, I said, like I said before, when I deadlift, I'm flying for the first four or five reps in 30 seconds, and then bang, I come to a stop. Now, for me to be even better, I need to use every single second of the time, and that's why I'm trying to get used to doing this for everything. You've seen it with the dumbbell, so you'll be seeing it with the axle. So. It's hard because Britain's is so fast, Barrett's, but Arnold's is so slow. You're doing a rep and waiting 15 seconds. So it's, I think people think that's easier, but when you're waiting 15 seconds, you're like, hur, 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 hur. then you press, that's what it's like. So do my tits in that. Use your hips, Tom. Come on, see that pop? Come on. Pop up. Nice. Come on. Come on, pop it. Easy. Hey, buddy. So today, I'm with this big giant, the behemoth. Um, so first up for me, I'm doing, I was in the gym, I had to do some paused front squats, a lot of leg stuff, so. And then after this, I'll go back, after events, I'll go back and do a, a little bit more legs. But first off, I do 15 minutes of throwing. The thought process for me is, I could probably count how many times I've trained sandbags in two hands which isn't very good, especially when it's not a huge strength of mine. So I'm going to start doing this every day or every time I train pretty much because it's a skill event, learn the skill, see how it feels, you know, because you've got to get into that flow. Like when Tom throws it, it's like, 
every bag's just super high. So Tom doesn't have to train it as much as I'll have to train it. So I need to do that skill. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to do arm over arm and then some stones at the end as well. So, and that'll be my events. So, so Tom's got a few more events to train us. He is going to go out to Arnold's and win Arnold's, which will be pretty exciting. I don't know if I can go out. I'd love to go out and watch him fucking destroy every mother. Um, it's nice to see Tom in this, this mindset as well. You would have seen in the last video that we did, or the two videos ago, the raw training, you know, how confident Tom is. And that's what he needs when, when Tom's confident like that. And when he talks about going hunting, <coughs> that's when I get excited. So, yeah, it'll be good. But yeah, for me, I'm, I'm feeling really good. Hit my last session of raw deadlifts this week. So it was 3.20 for five raw beltless. Um, so that was good. So next week, everything's stepping up. So this is just nice to get back into some of the things with, with Big Tom. It's real. I can feel it. It's vibrating through me. If you don't want to lose, tap into the energy. Breathe. Cold water. Love. Feel. Be emotional. Oof. Oof. British shows, man. This is going to be such a much slower pace. Yeah, I think four or five reps is what I need to do. So let's see what happens. One Tom, pop it. There you go. Great combo. Oh, that's heavier. Sure, it's heavier, aye? Yeah. Heavier than you think. Oh, fucking hell. I'll do this one, then you can do the other one. Yeah.
That's harder than it looks, jeez. Let's try this, eh? Oh. <laughs> Floor is lava. He's got smaller feet. Oh, show it off. Will you make it to your eyes? His heels on the ground. <laughs> oh, I did that one. <laughs> Here, guys, rock, rock, paper, scissors, ready? Rock, paper, scissors. I win. <laughs> He's all looped. Stupid people. But subscribe. <laughs> or you get punched. <laughs> I used to take the rope. <laughs> Why did you take out my hand? Because I was, you weren't ready. I the hell. Oh my god. I was just making sure I get all of it. Why are you pulling it up the way? What are you fing doing? You no, that's you? fine. You're pulling it up like that. No, I'm not. I'm doing this. <laughs> oh my Very god. Sakes, boys. Oh. Go back to Friday's Lonely. Any sakes. This is I would be finished by now. My stress levels, honestly, Tom. His uh, whoop's gone on fire. <sighs> we'll be after this, boy. <sighs> It. Oh, shit. One hand. Can't do it one handed, Tommy. Nope. Biceps gone. Hey guys, how bad do you want it when your left hand doesn't work? Don't worry, you've still got another hand. Never back down, never surrender. Stopping Strength Academy. Making people great. <sighs> yeah, I'll do the next bit. So this makes Luke a champion. Oh, Jesus, caught in the. <laughs> Jeez, oh, thanks for helping. <laughs> You're such an asshole. Why are you such a villain? I'm so tall, that's why. Come on. You got another one? Yeah. Yeah, this is core workout plus uh, arm over arm. Doing some sit ups. So, if you want to get the best core possible, arm over arm, set up this and go down and up, down and up. Ooh. Tom, stop perving. No, I'm saying. Check the link for the, you know what. This is one of the best things I've ever used in my life. Eh? I underestimated this until I used it. Wow. It is tight in it, it's like. I like it, man, it's well good. I tried it feels with that, like so I to pass out almost. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like you're in a suit when, you, when you're going down, when you're tightening it. I don't know. I don't use belts at the moment. Oh, he'll get injured. This is my belt. Nice. Control it on the way down, man. No, just drop it. No, it's grip. I, but I know, but then you're... Anyway, uh, you just make Why it... Why make more work for yourself? Oh, I did actually, because I had to move it back. 
Because then if, if, I, if you didn't move it back, then I'd have to move it back. Yeah, sorry guys. Dude, control the weight down, because I just... I'm talking <laughs> Only when it's a warm-up. When it's like max, you can let it go. Like, it's not a big deal then. Not on deadlifts, so because it's not counted as a lift if you lift it from here. For more tips like that, check out Solon Strength Academy. <sighs> Controlled. See, now you can walk in, lift up. Good big brother. So that'll be 280, is it? 280 last warm up one. Are you doing 320 again? Yeah, just trying to try and. Ah, oh, nice. He walks with it. That's an extra two points for That's basically the distance I walked with the frame at Arnold's this year, anyway. Uh. Come on, big grip, Tom. Good. Nice and focused. Hold it, Tom. Ten seconds. Come on. Nice and steady. Easy work, Tom. That's 20. Hold, Tom. Come on. Dig in. Well, we're at 30 seconds now, Tom. Come on, Tom. Keep holding. Keep holding. 40 seconds. Come on. Come on. There's no control on this one. You just hold, Tom. Hold. Keep going. Keep going. That's 50 seconds. Keep holding. Squeeze, Tom. Oh. Oh. You beauty. Uh -huh. 53. Oh. 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 Yeah, oh. Yeah, buddy. Oh. That was like last year when I gave up the 30. Uh, it's not the grip, it's literally your whole body. He was like, your neck's gonna feel like strain, but I felt at 10 seconds. I was like a junkie on heroin. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't say that. I was just like. <laughs> Ten, two, two. Twenty. Two. Nice. Come on. She's oh, holding me. Oh. Too much time over arm, boy. Oh, dizzy, bud. That's a secret. No belt. You turn into Evan Singleton after that, right? <sighs> Just one set of three for at the stones. I'm not really doing too many at the stone. Last week I did full extensions to the highest platform 140, just to practice extension. This week's one set of three 160. I don't know where I'll do it, maybe second highest, but I'm not rushing it. Yeah, it was good. Axel was good. Did one or two set of arm over arm. I just left that, I mean. Then uh, did the uh, frame carry again. Felt 53 set and 320. Now I can go into a different place. You've seen from like 10 seconds I was shaking, but all I needed to know was I need to get 50 second plus, so that's good, but I can't wait to get home and eat food, man, jeez. 120 stone for two reps to the top platform, then 140 for two reps, work up, then go up to the 160 and do like three, three singles. I think that's what I've got. I didn't. I thought he was. I thought he was good at one thing. I thought he was taking it under, and I didn't see it. Oh, Shannis.
So today is my deadlift day. I am putting my suit back on and I'll be using the deadlift bar as well. So see how that goes. Work up to 340 or so. I think we've got a special guest as well. I think Big Tommy's here, so I think he's squatting today. So don't worry, guys. We're not too far apart at any one moment in time. Hope you're all watching. I hope you all enjoyed the strong man that was on. Next year will be a different result. Stoltman. Numero uno. So we'll do some hip openers. Ten on each side. So this is something we've been doing for a little while. Oh, a stiff today. Man. Sounds a bit weird, mate, but just doing some balance stuff. So standing on one leg. So the foot you're balancing on, you kind of see it, it's moving constantly to stop me from, you know, putting this foot down. So that's what I'm wanting to do, kind of work that feet as well. So they're nice and strong to push off the ground. Just little bits and pieces that you have to do, or that I need to do for myself. Everything's going up, so did axle press a couple of days ago. That felt nice. Feeling quite poppy, quite explosive with that. It's all these little small stupid things. Is this going to make me deadlift 505 kilos? Probably not. But is it going to create longevity? Is it going to create the right mindset for me to approach deadlifting? Yes. So that's what it is. So it's like everything's getting warmed up, everything's getting primed. And then once that's done, then we go into deadlifting, then everything's ready to go. And I get that snap. Um, so that's, that's the, the thought process. But onto the king deadlifts. I should do three sets of 20 on each leg. Good for my knees as well, it kind of warms them up, gets some power, and get just again, gets everything primed. And I'm not pushing the squats too much because I'm just trying to use that as a baseline. I'm trying, like you said, use this to kind of get really strong bulletproof knees uh, and not relying on knee sleeves all the time because. When you put these on straight away when you're squatting, you're not actually warming your knees up. You're just keeping them tight and they're still cold. So it's not a very good way to, to do it. So uh, you don't really ever get a squat in a competition. One in like 10 competitions in like five, six years. So it's a thing you just maintain that whole year round and it helps with other movements like deadlifting, stuff off the floor, you know? So some weeks I'll go heavy, some weeks I'll pull at reps. As long as I can kind of maintain it at a certain weight, then it's fine, so. Three hundred single, nice. Stop it there. With all due respect, I don't think you would ever lift that. So me either. Like it's not nothing personal. I think all these guys here, none of them are getting that either. Pretty big weight. But like I say, I asked him, what are you going for today? Nothing big. Sounds <laughs> nice and light. Oh, 
This is my Christmas present, mate. Back in a fucking day, boss. Fuck me, man. Oh, the joys. I think it's nice, you know, being a strong man and that, and then you have to do so many stupid things. Being a dead boss, you put tacky in your arms to lift the stone. Oh, hello, mate. Naked man. Today, so Big Tom is the the loader. It's very good. Next set is probably do three thirty. Well, I've got three thirty in the bar. I'll do that, and then I'm going to do a top set of depending on how this feels. Um, three forty, three fifty. So hopefully it'll feel quite nice. Go up to three fifty, do some reps of that. And then that's a main working set done. And then after we do this, then go and do some throws. when you need to bleep it out. Twenty-five, come on you. There we go. Do it again. Keep going. Come on. Got this one, come on, air, air, now go. Come on. Come on. So that was the top set done. Had, uh, I got a choice in my training to go 340 or 350. So I chose 350 uh, for five reps. So that was good. The last one was a, a grind. It was tough. Uh, but watching it back, sometimes when you reset, sometimes, um, especially in deadlifts, you, you sometimes lose the position. So you know that's what you see like when Tom breath up the top, down, keep everything under tension and then straight back into it. But sometimes you've got to kind of, yeah, you just sass it out, but yeah, really happy with that. That's the most I've done in a long time, uh, deadlift. So again, it's what we said at the start of the training. We've got to car, I've got to carry on doing all these little things that are helping me become that, you know, better athlete. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do, you know, is becoming as, as good as I can. Um, hopefully that'll be enough to get on the podium. I'd like to say a big thank you to my baby big brother, Big Tommy, for helping me, encouraging me. It was nice. It's nice when you get that little bit of support, you know, when you're in. Sometimes, you know, just training yourself and stuff. Yes, it's more difficult, isn't it? Um, but when you have, you know, good energy and stuff, people shouting you on. I'm going to go out and do some bag throws now. If you'd like to come out with me, we'll see you outside in the lovely cold weather. Are you done, Tommy? What's that you've got in the bag? Hey, guys. So... If you want to get big and strong, you want to have the best results we're creating, you have to mix about, let's see, 250 to 300 mil of orange juice or apple juice with one scoop of creatine from my protein 
it, that absorbs the creating the best and you get the biggest results. That's why getting so big. So thank you. That's a Tommy fact. Don't mix your creating with water. Don't get flavour creating. Get raw creating. Mix it with orange juice or apple juice. 250 to 300 ml. One scoop of creating. Thank me later. Cheers, guys. We are outside. The seagulls are squawking. So we're going to do some bag throws. Try to incorporate sandbag throwing to most sessions I do now, depending on the lovely Scottish weather. We were blessed with a dry day today. So it's so only 15 minutes of throws. Kushi just sent me a message saying I need to sort my passport. Now my, my passport's just knackered. <laughs> It's annoying because it's harder to kind of judge the height because we don't have a bar. <laughs> Stop, I'm so stupid. What do you think that is? This needs to be a wee bit, doesn't it? This is how you do it in the Highlands. We're a wee bit behind, but we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Chase some haggis after this, shall we? Thanks. The resistance is the this ladder. It's one of these ones. Like you think it's just this height, but actually comes apart mm -hmm. and separates, so you can extend it as high higher than it actually is. So I think Giant's Live should do a throw anything like this. Now, if this was an aeroplane, I'd happily get in it. And if this was one of the wings, not a problem. This is how American Airlines repair airplanes. You can see if Tom was here, we could just ask him to stand with the pole. See, it, it felt like a really Hard job, but if you just keep chopping away at what you need to do, Something. eventually, oh, it's class. you've got an engineering masterpiece. It's called an extender, extended the ladder. This is all learned in the North Sea. This is exactly oh. what we've done. <laughs> well, this is just like a trial at the moment. We're thinking that we'll probably make them slightly less complicated. Um, there's not many people could do this, to be honest. It's specialists, so. Perfect, boys. That. That's about two metres, man. <laughs> I can almost reach it. Anyway, give us a f***ing guide, you know what I mean? Where can people buy it get hold of this stuff? <laughs> That Ruby Murray, in it. <laughs> Last one. <laughs> process with this one, wider rows, so you can imagine we're picking up a sandbag, we're lapping it up, so that that initial movement, so I'm going quite wide, quite a, sorry, quite a big stretch towards my toes, that's mimicking the pick up with the sandbag, and then it comes up, so yeah, not super heavy weights, everything we're going as heavy as we can, without the machine breaking, okay, everyone's favourite, Back extensions. This is a bit of a naughty one. So, 10 sets of 10, uh, 5 reps. So, at this moment in time, really don't want to do this. But, what did I say at the start of training? I'm doing everything that I have to because that's why I've been able to deadlift a lot better than I have before. So, why would I stop doing stuff that's working? So, Wear my big boy pants and or big girl pants. 
Jeez, I'm just was it procrastinating, whatever the word is. Right, stop it, look. Come on. I was trying to think about other stuff, what I can say. Right then. lifting I'll not get as much extension on my lower back I want it to be a bit lower down so it's more like that so when I'm going in the pivot I get more of an extension so I'll probably put it down just one more there we go nice to see some progression I'm you know, even coming in here doing this so hoping this will feel a little bit nicer than it did last time that's the plan anyway so again I'll shut up and just lift it again So today, just to recap as well, again, you can see both Tom and I, we're still there and we're still getting energy from each other, but it would be detrimental now if we did train the same. Because obviously Tom's got Arnold's in March, which he's prepping for. So Tom's prepping for Britons, he's prepping for Arnold's, but it's nice to be in the same vicinity with Tom. And that was the first time. So using the primal deadlift bar, and then using my suit as well, so everything felt, felt really good. And that's like the first week for me as well, you know, with everything, so expect it just to kind of progress. I feel that aggression, which is nice. Even though I almost had a panic attack when I came in earlier on because it was so busy. Who'd have thought, eh? You can compete in front of, I think, 10,000 people, but when there's five people in the gym, start the spas out. Hope you guys are enjoying the the raw feeling of these videos. Nothing's really planned when we come in, apart from obviously the session and what we're training, but video-wise, just see what happens. Getting closer to baby day as well, because she's been busy in the house getting all the room ready. Maybe even do a wee video on that. If you would, if you would like to see our little baby boys live in quarters. Yeah, let us know. We got a scan yesterday, so the baby is looking good. Got to see his wee head, his lips, his wee hands and that, so it was really nice. Measuring on the big side. Poor Kush. Honestly, can't wait. I don't really know what to expect, but I just feel a lot of love towards him already. Um, like when I touch his, when I touch Kushi's belly, it feels like he's giving me a wee high five. I can feel him, he's like strong, man. I just want him to be a good guy. Do you have a name yet? I th we've got a few names, but we, we were going to have, we haven't looked at like the Celtic side of things, you know, Celtic names and that, so. We might have a wee look at them. Name is important, isn't it? You know, name's like, or is it? Is it important? I had a conversation the other day with, someone and uh, we we're talking about like you know religion and stuff and I asked I asked him the same I said well what does it matter what religion you know if it's Christianity Buddha Hindu Islam whatever like Hare Krishna whatever who made those names you know like a man made those names or a woman made those names stay with me here and then I'll do my last couple of sets but like if someone did create something I would want to give my praise to that person or that not that person that being and again, this is just my thoughts recently. I, I wouldn't want to pray to another man or woman because they're off the same earth. But like the creator, whoever the creator is, like that special. It's a weird one, quite deep for deadlifts. Anyway, take, take that or leave it, I don't know. <laughs> just, just my journey when I'm on. Oh, that's better. Now we're feeling better. <sighs> It's weird, you can think about things when you're training like that, you know, it comes into your head. A lot of people ask us, like, 
Well, where do you go and you say, you know, oh, I go to a dark place and thinking about family getting killed and stuff, whatever. The flip side to it as well, I guess because we're releasing like endorphins and you're on like a natural high when you're lifting, like that dopamine, you're, you're getting that. So you're almost in a different mindset or a different realm in your thinking. So I get it when I go to the cold water, it like allows me to have clearer visions or I don't know, different thoughts, whatever that might be. And that's what's coming into my head recently, is like, like the spiritual, religious thing, you know. I think if something's coming into your head frequently, it's worth exploring. But what do I know? What do I know? I'm just a big sweaty guy. <sighs> Trying to talk so I don't have to do this last set. It's not even. Let's see what we've got for grip. Just take a bit more time. I guess just focus on that little fucking pinky. You don't focus on that full component of your hand squeezing. Everything's up all in one, so you've got to really focus everything on it. Um, I think for me before, it just wasn't that, that mind connection. That wasn't quite there, so yeah, improvement. Small ones, mate, that's all we need. Sometimes that's the, the only ones you'll ever get. Right, I'm just going straight into 100 behind the neck. 45 seconds, that'd be nice. We've got two sets of wrist curls to do. Still lie down. Here we go, mate. Jump done. 